has these are the requests that come into the service that it tracks requests it tracks the something called problem so when you see requests or complaints or incidents being logged in you can determine some are categorized as problem this is not service request and you can do a problem analysis of what is the root cause of that similarly i talked about change management right if you want to introduce a change into your it anything it could be upgrading it could be completely you know replacing all my android phones with like you know iphones that's a change in the organization that requires a certain process so all these are modules or processes within your it service management similarly tracking it projects tracking assets we talked about uh cmdb is uh, basically centralized repository of all your assets purchase contracts so let me um, quickly jump into um, the analytics perspective see this one So this is the Analytics Plus software, which has basically taken data from our own Services Plus, which is what we saw just now. So we have created some dashboard for specific roles. Let me start with the CIO dashboard. So this is how the product looks. so in this ci dashboard you can see the key metrics which is relevant for you at an organization level these are all key metrics that shows you let me see i think the laser works with this so for it was so it was it is at 316 dollars now last quarter it was at 351 so it tells you whether the trend is going this way or this way similarly average time spent on requests right what is your you know efficiency of your service desk similarly major outages right how many outages have you know what's the outage trend these are and these are the kpi metrics that we got right so when you're offering services to your employees or it users you are giving them a certain level of service at a certain expected level so and if that drops you may be violating the sna you promised turn around time in 2 days but it has taken you 4 days that's like that so sna violations so let me scroll down so these are some kpis similarly so this is areas with highest dissatisfaction so i talked about being able to interact with dashboard this is a ci dashboard so let me see if i can focus on just the q1 metrics so i'll just fade out the other quarters let's see the isp link was a big problem for me so let's see this is telling me about q1 can i drill down into data so I, i can either see the underlying data or i can drill down drill down will tell me okay i saw big number for q1 but this is how it splits out this is what it you know it tells me this was the number in jan feb march i can further drill down you basically going from a very high level to deep down below to understand if this is a spike or this is you know something that is prevalent right through Right. Similarly, if you want to see the underlying data, you can go and analyze the data. Oops. We go here. Similarly, uh, Brian, you asked about IT service efficiency, right? Responsiveness, right? <laughs> so this graph here. I'm sorry, <coughs> it is that. Right? So if you look at the, you can see the legend here. So these are these are total number of incoming tickets. Is that right? Out of this, these are the resolved ticket, and these one is the backlog count and one is outstanding. Uh, okay. 
sorry, one is the backlog request, one is which was resolved in the same week. For example, you have 10 tickets coming this week, only 5 got resolved this week. So this is an example. Of so I talked about being able to change this type of visualization. So if you want to change this into say an area chart, like this. let's see how that works. Right. So you can basically choose the visualization depending on what makes sense. So similarly, let's take here, right? So you have these three. So this is basically IT service responsiveness, which means that I have tickets that are spilled over beyond a month and like these are the three uh, periods I have over 60 days, 45 to so 46 to 60 days, 31 to 30. So if you want to see, if you, if you think that this stack bar could be a better way to rep so it again depends on what you want to see. Similarly, so these are some reports for this dashboard. Similarly, we have reports for the service desk, service desk manager. So here you may see a lot more granular detail. SLA, you are you offered aggressive SLA here. So average time elapsed, you are saying one day, uh, one hour. So you are promised service delivery in this one hour. So people who are exceeding this are going to go over your SLA. So SLA violations based on priority. Right? So for example, these are low priority tickets, medium priority tickets, normal, high priority, critical. So if you look at it, right, my critical priorities are you know, critical tickets are not ex are not violating SLAs. So similar to that. So compliance trend. If supposing my SLA violation is increasing a lot, so that can give a visibility saying that my service disk is not performing at the right level. Total uh, total hours, right? So you have service desk team from these various geographies logging in. How is the you know, total hours logged in? So basically, you know, whether what is the efficiency of his uh, helps his team? Whether